Uh, hi folks, so I'm Kishore. I am the PM in Power Automate. Um, I'm a PM in Power Automate. I work specifically in the maker experiences. So when you are actually building your flow, so that's the maker experience I'm talking about. Um, today I'm joined by my colleague Natalie, uh, who is also working really close by, uh, by my team also. And today this uh, next 10 to 15 minutes discussion is going to be around Power Automate Copilot. We are excited to share the news that we released Power Automate Copilot at Build. So that was May 23. Uh, so it's been about two to three weeks and we've been getting a lot of positive attention, some negative feedbacks uh, around the experience that we're tr constantly trying to iterate and, and do better. So this uh, call, we just wanted to share a few things. What what, what does it mean um, to have a co-pilot in Power Automate? Uh, just sharing some things around like um, potential improvements to co-pilot and what feedback we've been learning. And also just get a feel from this audience on what would you like to see, right? Like just just like the you are an extension of the product team and we want to work uh, closely uh, in, in shaping the future of Power Automate Copilot. So would really appreciate the uh, the guidance and the feedback here if you've had a chance to uh, to use it. If you do not have, if you have not had a chance to do so, uh, I'll also share you uh, instructions on how you'll be able to do so. And also, uh, Please feel free to uh, be engaged on the chat as well. Uh, Natalie's uh, the acting moderator for this session, so she's going to be monitoring and just replying to those to those chat messages. Like if there are things that we need to follow up on, uh, we will definitely follow up on that as well. Uh, so yes, we can go get uh, go ahead and get started. Uh, so Power Automate at Copilot at Build, right? Like the I, I put a small screenshot. Um, to the right of the screen here that that just tells you what um, what experience I am referring to. So this experience, this co-pilot pane that you see right by the Power Automate uh, Cloudflow's designer uh, is this M365, this Power Platform wide a consistent um, uh, UX in terms of a co-pilot pane that is that is serving the product, right? Like you have co-pilot in Power Apps, uh, PVA, you also have it in PowerPoint teams, like the, the concept and the UX, like we, we try to stay aligned um, with the platform and with also with the company wide guidance. Uh, so the basically the idea here is you go to Power Automate to create automation uh, to uh, uh, to streamline, to automate your boring repetitive tasks. So think about all the hours that you've spent uh, copying files from SharePoint to OneDrive, uh, syncing files from from Dataverse to to Excel. Uh, uh, there, there's a, there's some workflow that you have that starts from Teams when somebody posts a message, and then there's this this set of events that you always follow through, and there's no changes. Uh, what about you could automate it um, seamlessly, right? Uh, that's where the power of Power Automate comes uh, comes from. Uh, but also we take it a step further with Power Automate Copilot, where essentially you create these automations right uh, the same way as you interact with uh, ChatGPT, right? So in a conversational way, you express what you want, you express your intent of creating this automation, and Power Automate Copilot builds that automation for you. Uh, so that is the overarching concept of Power Automate Copilot. It's uh, available in the US preview environment as of May 2023. We're aggressively looking to roll out in more regions uh, as I'm as I'm speaking in the meantime. Uh, together with Power Automate Copilot, uh, we also introduced a new Cloudflow's designer as well. So this is the first designer refresh that the product has gotten since the first time we actually released the product. So this is pretty fantastic. Uh, we want you to use and get the value out of both the designer and the co-pilot. Um, and we're really excited and we're curious to hear your feedback as well. Uh, so again, to reiterate, the co-pilot uh, builds flows from natural language, right? It builds automation from your natural language. It can be as simple as when this happens, do that, right? Um, and it actually understands what you're trying to automate and it puts up a flow for you. So on the right, you see, I said, when someone sends me an email mentioning me again, like that's important, send me a Teams message because I do get a ping 
uh, in Teams. And uh, in that way, it's easy for me to stay on top of these uh, mentions. Uh, and Power Auto Copilot just built a flow for you within, within a few seconds and without you having to set up, without you having to, uh, to build it from scratch. Uh, so it actually helps build flows. It also helps edit flows within the designer, right? So you can tell, oh, I actually don't want to uh, get notified through Teams. I I actually want to get notified in my mobile app, in my mobile Power Automate app. And you, you can just ask that in the Copilot pane, uh, and it understands that intent and then changes that action uh, in the flow for you. Um, so not just building flows, but also the value is... Uh, Within the uh, designer, it helps you edit the flow. Uh, we are supporting 180 connectors. Uh, more to follow, 100%. We want to increase. We want to support more connectors as well. Uh, there is limited parameterization support in the flow at this time, in the co-pilot at this time. So that just means, um, so in terms of parameterization, I'm talking about um, uh, the static text that you put in the action fields, the dynamic content, uh, the drop down values that you have, the expressions that you put. So we have limited parameterization, but again, we're aggressively looking to, to expand more on it, right? Because the work just does not stop. When you just create a flow, we have to set the flow correctly, right? So we have to uh, set the connections properly. We have to set the parameters correctly so that for someone who's new to Power Automates, for, or for someone who just wants to save time creating an automation, that the process is as seamless as possible. Um, on to the next slide. I also want to show you a quick live demo of what I'm talking about. So I'm in make.preview.powerautomate.com. Um, quick time check, how, how much time do I have? You are running good to go. Um, okay. We have like around uh, maybe uh, three to four minutes left. Perfect. So what I want to do is I'm on the Power Automate homepage right now, uh, and you see that the homepage is powered by Copilot right there, right? So I have all these different options that I can go through in Power Automate, but homepage uh, UX, you see that Copilot has been integrated into the homepage. Um, there are a few different entry points for the Copilot, but I just wanted to go through this hero, uh, hero scenario that everyone's going to be uh, using mostly. So in the co-pilot, uh, what I want to do is uh, I want to send a congratulation email to new hires stored in a SharePoint list, right? So I work for a company. Uh, I, I want to make the new hires feel welcomed, uh, and I want to send a congratulations email. Uh, and one thing I want to also do here is I don't want to send them right away, right? Like I want to um, actually send it on a particular day. Uh, whether that's a Monday uh, or, or a Friday, I can choose a day. So one thing that I can do is I can quickly iterate over the prompt that I just put. So you, as you can see, Copilot actually built a flow for me, right? So this is this is means the flow starts when an item is created in SharePoint, and the flow will do what the flow will do is it will actually send an email, uh, and we I can I can basically monitor and I can check uh, who this uh, email is being sent to. So one thing I, I do, I want to do is I only want to send these um, emails on Monday. So as you saw, that the flow got updated real time. Uh, now the trigger has changed to recurrence, right? Because we want to uh, uh, trigger the flow on a recurrence basis. We only want to trigger the flow on Monday. So that is why the flow understood that intent, changed the flow for me. It's getting the items from SharePoint. It's looping over each of the items. Uh, it's checking for a condition, uh, and it's actually sending an email, right? Like I might not need the condition, but it's actually, uh, I might not need the condition, but I might as well, right? Like I, I want to make sure if like, is there a column in SharePoint that says, has the email been sent? In that case, I would need a condition. But again, this might not be exactly what I'm looking for, but I can definitely go to the next step, remove and just like iterate over the uh, the flow that Copilot built for me. And again, like as we keep making the model improvements, as we keep making the, the Copilot improvements, uh, these slight nuances are, are going to be uh, improved as well. So on the next step, I just see the green checks. I'm ready to go. I want to create my flow um, uh, and voila, right? Like I see um, that Copilot has actually built a flow, like a ready to go flow for me. Uh, it, it tells me 
it's connected to SharePoint. Like I'm, I'm all ready to go. Um, I can even I can check for these uh, fields or these actions. Like, is this um, is this is this OK? Right? Like, like what is this flow doing? So I can even ask in the Copilot pane, explain what this flow is doing or explain the flow, right? And let's see what uh, Copilot returns. This flow is triggered every Monday using a recurrence trigger. It then retrieves items from a SharePoint list and loops through each item. If a condition is met, it sends an email using the Office 365 connector. So that sounds good enough for me. Um, now, one thing I want to do is I don't want the condition, right? Like I don't want to check the condition. Um, I've, I've created a system where as soon as the, um, the new hires email is in the SharePoint list, uh, I can send an email. So I don't need to check if uh, I've already sent an email to them, so it's just it's just a slight nuance there. Uh, if I might need the condition, in which case I would just try to set up this condition, but I, I don't need it. Let's see if Copilot actually says uh, does what uh, I tell it to. So I said delete the condition action. There you go. So it's actually removed that condition for me. So the flow looks simple, right? Like every Monday. Uh, it's getting items from SharePoint. I obviously need to choose what site address, what list I'm, I'm referring to. Then it's actually sending an email to, to people with a subject and a body. Um, one cool thing I want to also um, uh, tell here is uh, on send email body, uh, write a, a lighthearted tone welcome message uh, to new hires in Contoso company. Right, so let me see if actually uh, so it's being powered by GPT in the back end. So hopefully GPT is able to write uh, an email body uh, in a lighthearted tone, welcoming people to Contoso. And there you go. It says, hello, new hires. We're thrilled to have you join our team. So I did not have to write anything here. Right. So in the next iterations, I don't even have to um, write this follow up prompt. Hopefully. Copilot understand that I'm writing a congratulations email and it just puts the email body uh, automatically. Um, so yeah, it, it's just the process of improving the, the experience that we have. Um, and yeah, so th that is where I want to take a pause. Uh, I, I just showed you an end-to-end -end experience of how you express your intent of an automation in the Power Automate Copilot uh, to create a flow, for, to create an automation for you. And again, like I, all I need to do is I need to save my flow. There are a few missing parameters, like I need to um, just put the site address, list address, uh, and then and the and the automation is all ready to go. Coming back to the slide, uh, where we're excited to share that the new designer is open source, so. The, the the designer surface that you're seeing here, except the copilot. So we are not taking contributions for the copilot at this moment, um, but the designer itself is open source. And as you saw, like this is an like an exciting uh, point uh, in time where uh, the product team is actually taking contributions uh, from the customers on any changes, right? Like obviously, like we have. Like we keep trying improving the the product, the designer experiences, but time is of the essence. The capacity is always limited. But if there are some things that the product team just might not um, have been getting to, it's it's an awesome opportunity to work with the product team in contributing um, to the designer repo. Uh, the code lives in GitHub, and if you are um, interested in contributing to the to the new designer, uh, please drop your email on the chat. Um, or just please feel free to ping me or Natalie, um, and we can we can get that we can get that ball rolling. Um, uh, so this is this is this is a fantastic opportunity, and we can talk about what features or what uh, updates that we uh, that that makes the most sense to work uh, with, right? So it's it's a collaborative approach. Uh, having said that, uh, I want to now focus more on the on the feedback. I know some of you might be familiar. Some of you might have already used Copilot. Uh, some of you might be familiar with Power Automate, but have not used Copilot. And some of you might just never uh, heard of Power Automate, right? Like whatever cohort you are in, uh, how can we improve Copilot? Like this is a feedback session that I want to have uh, really quickly from the from the group here. Um, there are a few avenues uh, we are thinking to take copilot again like this is not concrete these are just a um, just a list of items that we uh, that have been uh, brought up so far 
uh, multi-turn, right? Like can can uh, Copilot be more proactive? Can can it help clarify questions? Uh, can it uh, like you see you saw that there were missing parameters? Copilot like really did not care about those missing parameters. Can can it be more proactive? Can it help me fill those parameters and save my automation? Uh, do we need to support more connectors? Do we need to support parameterization? There is also the ask for um, can Copilot generate an expression for me? Can it help fix errors? Right, like that's a big bucket. Like I keep running into errors while building flows. Can it help fix errors? Yeah, so yeah. yeah, please, if you have any feedback around Copilot, please put it on the chat. We would love to hear from you. Uh, feel free to directly ping us as well if you have questions around how to access or how do I provide feedback. Uh, but yeah, thank you for the opportunity. Um, and yeah, we're, we're excited for this new journey. Thank you. Thank you, Kishore. Fantastic stuff. You know, not enough justice with the time that we have here allotted. Please let's take the conversation to chat and um, you know, we'll follow up there.